so I'm working on something a little different today. As you guys know, I really enjoy the lake. We live right here, basically on the lake. And I uh, kind of wanted to do a little nighttime lightage on the boat. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I ordered a bunch of LED strips. Kind of try to maybe make LED lightage underneath the seats. And then I've ordered some LED underwater lights that we're going to have kind of projecting off the back of the pontoons. These here are the LED strips that I bought. And they're actually like encased in this really thick clear plastic. It's got like a really thick clear plastic piece over it and you can cut these at I don't know like four inch intervals all the way through the strip the thing is super nice about these is they come dual wired so I've already cut this strip but it's got wires at both ends and so essentially when you cut it then you've got two like it doesn't make the rest of it bad this just happened to be like the center piece of what was left after I used it already cool stuff got these on Amazon I think they were maybe I don't know they were cheap they're super cheap I think five or six bucks maybe per roll and I think it's like a 15 foot roll and they work really well so let me show you what I was talking about so on the back of the pontoon here I basically just mounted some little LED lights and you can see that I've just drilled a hole in this back plate. This is like a two LED light. It's supposed to be waterproof. Hopefully it'll hold up. It just comes out the back up through here. And then uh, doing the exact same thing on the other side. So that's where I'll actually mount it and then the hole here. And ideally what will happen is it will, when they're on, it will light the water behind the boat itself you see this done in a lot of uh your ski boats they have leds underneath the back deck kind of lights the water for swimming you get on and off the boat and just kind of looks cool you know here on the inside basically all i've done is on these seats they have this little lip here and so i've just attached that led strip underneath that it's got a uh it's got an adhesive backing to it I was a little bit concerned about it uh, holding up through the heat and the heat of the summer. I was afraid that the glue would kind of loosen up and maybe it fall down. So what I may do is I may occasionally drill some holes around these and then use little zip ties or something to kind of make sure that they stay. But from anywhere, sitting anywhere in the boat, you can see that they're not visible. And it'll just kind of give it a nice glow underneath all of these seats. I actually went with the blue LEDs. Um, it's not crazy blue. It's not like, you know, obnoxious blue. It's just nice, cool blue. Should give us uh, some kind of ambient lighting and allow you to be able to see what's going on on the boat. Um, I really like to be able to cruise at night. And uh, this will allow us to be able to kind of see what we're doing and just have a cool effect to it. So, let's get this done. Maybe we can get on the water today. I think it's done. Turned out pretty good. It was a lot of work. It's tedious work. I soldered everything and loomed everything, and so that's probably what took me so long. But now it's just time to get on the lake and uh, see if that hard work paid off.
still waiting on the sun to go down. Once it goes down, we can touch the lights. Until then, I think we'll eat some food, drink some beers. Well, it was a pretty good trip, a lot of work. Kinda paid off. So the LEDs on the floor are a little brighter than I would've liked, and then the LEDs on the pontoons behind the boat are not as as bright as I would've liked. So, I don't know. I guess it's just like everything else. You live and learn, you gotta experiment and try it out, but anyway. One good thing for you guys, or at least I feel like it's a good thing. I know I'm excited about it is the boat's in the water, so that means the C-10 is going back out where the boat was, and that means the bibster is gonna start. So, stay tuned for that. Gonna pull the bibster down the next week or so, start mocking things up, cutting some tubing, bending some tubing, cutting some wheels. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that little video. As always, thank you for joining me. I'm sure I'll see you guys tomorrow. Go do work, son.